Governor Uhuru Kenyatta earlier today sacked Weekly for Gallo from the helm of Prisons Department, ending a two and a half year tenure for the former provincial administrator. In his place, the president swore in John Kibasa Warioba, a former military man, to lead the department through its worst crisis in the recent past. As our very own Sam Gituku reports, the president's directive to the Interior Ministry and its organs seems to have borne action in record speed. Three days after the nighttime escape by terror convicts from the most guarded prison facility in the country, President Kenyatta got a full account of what had transpired at the committee maximum prison. In quick action, weekly for Gallo was relieved of his duties, a position he had held since March 2019. A career civil servant who had risen up the ranks from a district officer in his younger years. His last public engagement with President Kenyatta was at the end of October when he hosted the pass out parade of prison officers. Nineteen days later, he was taking responsibility for one of the worst crises at the prisons. I, John Kibaso Warioba. The president has now picked Brigadier retired John Kibaso Warioba to drive the department through the committee prison break crisis occasioned by the loss of terror convicts. <laughs> An extensively experienced former soldier who has among other roles served as a sector commander for AMISOM in the fight against Al-Shabaab in Somalia. He was responsible for planning and training of contingent troops heading to Somalia. Warioba holds a Master of Arts in International Security and Strategy from the King's College, London. He has an advanced diploma in military management from India. At the swearing-in event, President Kenyatta directed Interior CS Fred Matiangi and all security formations to take all actions necessary and pursue the committee SKPs with all the available resources. That all state investigative agencies bring every person that is found culpable to full account. The President further wants the Correctional Services Department to sanction disciplinary action against all Kenya Prison Services personnel who are on duty when the security breaches occurred. This action the president ordered shall include redeployment and or immediate suspension of all affected officers. On the fourth night, the whereabouts of the three, Musharraf Abdallah, Mohammed Abikar and Joseph Odiambo remain unknown. The president wants no action spared to get them back in custody. Sam Gitukusrizen TV, Nairobi.